Hi, my name is Matt Loin, and I'm a chiropractor in Los Angeles at Louisville Chiropractic. And today we're here to talk about trigger points and how to deal with some of those knots that you get in your back. So, when people come in, oftentimes they're complaining of they have pain along their shoulder blade or in a particular muscle such as their hip flexor and I need to give them ways to help deal with some of these issues. So I'll start off by saying that a trigger point is a muscle that has become tight and is trapping lactic acid and other chemicals in that muscle and those chemicals when they build up in the muscle aggravate the nerves in the area and cause you tenderness or pain feels like a knot in your back. If a muscle has been tight for a long period of time, then the fibers in the muscle start to stick together and there's ways that we can help to deal with loosening up these areas. So I'm going to show you a few things that I uh, have patients do. Uh, one, and these are all very simple, um, inexpensive things that you can do at home. Um, one is you can get a spiky massage ball. These come in all different sizes. Um, but these are really easy ways to um, put something on your back to help loosen up an area of tightness. Um, but sometimes this size isn't right and you can get something like this, it's called a pinky ball, um, but a lacrosse ball works really well, or works well also. Um, and if I was to do this along my shoulder blade, I would put it under my shoulder blade lift my arm up and down, applying pressure onto that trigger point to help loosen it up. Now, of course, one session of five minutes of working on it probably isn't going to be enough, so it's consistency um, over a week or more to help work on the area uh, to get that loosening to occur. Other things that people use, um, or I recommend, is a foam roller. So this is pretty small, a lot of people will put it into their suitcase if they're traveling, um, but it's really good for using on your hip flexor, um, on your lower back or glute area, or even up into your shoulder blades. You basically you are going to just roll your body over it, giving yourself a self-massage. This is a longer foam roller, and I prefer this because you can lay on it um, with your spine all the way along here, or you can use it horizontally to go all along the side of your leg, wherever you feel the tension. Um, most people love this, but this one, you need, it's called a mini thumper, and it's a great way to, in a vibration sense, loose, loosen up areas of tightness along your back, but you kind of need someone to do it. So if you have someone at home that wants to help, this is really great. So these are a few of the things that can be used, but first and foremost, you want to get a diagnosis to make sure that the problem you're having is just muscle tightness, because muscle tightness or tenderness may be coming from somewhere else in your body. It could be that your spine isn't moving properly, it could be referred pain from a kidney infection or something else, so you want to make sure you get it checked out. And uh, once you get the go-ahead, and these are inexpensive and great ways to help maintain what your doctor may already be working on. So, that's it. We'll see you next time.